Hi, I'm Mariela. I'm Lee. And today we are going to install the new speakers for our van. The speakers that are original factory just suck, for lack of a better word. These are an upgrade. They're nothing fancy, but they're the Hertz component speakers with the tweeter that goes in the dash and the little five and a quarter woofer that goes in the door. It's not going to be ground shaking, you know, van rattling sound, but it's definitely going to be an upgrade. And a little bit later, we'll come back and maybe add a subwoofer if we need to, so we have some tunes while we're traveling. Okay, one of the things that Mercedes has with their factory radio is a center speaker. That helps with the radio calls, phone calls, the vocals, things like that. But it's not good with the stereo. So you take your panel tool, pull the cover off. You see there's a couple screws can pull that speaker out and disconnect the wires from that speaker and it will enhance your stereo sound. Will that affect when you get phone calls and stuff? No. I forgot to mention to disconnect the power anytime you're working around your airbags. There's airbags in the side curtains and in the dashboard. So to disconnect your power, you come down here to this red switch and you'll simply disconnect this terminal but you need to wait about 10 minutes after the engine stops basically pull your key out of the ignition and wait 10 to 15 minutes before you disconnect the switch now the power is disconnected and you won't accidentally set off your airbag or get any error codes okay to pull the door off there's a cover here that hides the screw. There's one over here as well. You have to pop these little pieces off. They're kind of a pain. You can see it looks like somebody's tried to do it before and made little scratches. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Pull these off. Same thing over here on this side. And it shows a Torx bit behind it. It's a T20 Torx bit. Need to pull that out. Making sure to place it somewhere you don't lose it. You will need this upon reassembly. The bottom panel needs to come off. And down here, it just kind of popped out. These little clips here, just lock onto that little plastic piece. That's just so when you go to put a deck together, you have directions. <laughs> Are you gonna insulate the cavities in here? Yep. That's a different video. Huh? That's a whole nother different video. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. Well, if you come to the point of needing a hand, I'm right next door. I appreciate it, Ed. Well, anytime. My schedule isn't too uh, filled up lately. <laughs> so I don't have a climate or anything to wire this year. Okay, and the rest is just panel clips. So we need to get our panel tools. Those panel tools have come in handy. We've used them every single I'm project. A lot of work, man. Here's my Torx bit screw. There's the other one. So this cover on the door handle comes off. Just pops off. Exposing another screw back up in here that we have to get to. Remember, we're not professionals. We're learning as we go. I'm not sure what size screw that is. It's a little bigger than the T20. So 
a T25 it looks like. One more in here. That's another T25. There we go. Nice. And then right under here. You have to unplug your window switch. Just drops down. And we're going to have to disconnect the door latch mechanism. That pops out and then lifts right up. And now your door panel is free. There's the factory speaker and the factory speaker wiring. We're going to pull the speaker out. We just need to disconnect the speaker, unplugs. We'll end up cutting those plugs off to attach to the new ones. We're back to our, what's that, the T20. And that's where our new speaker is going to go. The holes will not line up, so we're going to have to do some adapting. Now here's our original speaker. I'm going to use this trim ring to mount this speaker to, and then put it back in place because this does not line up the way it was. So we need to get rid of the old speaker. Now, I have to trim this plastic off right here. So let me go get something to cut that with. I'm gonna screw my pliers, my wire cutters and cut that. Get rid of this. And we're ready to put it together. Need to get rid of this so I can run my wires for my new speakers. Not sure the best way to do that, so I'm just going to get violent with it and rip it out. I'm not worried too much about it. Okay, when I run my, put my new speaker in here, it's going to fit something like this. I need to get my wire up through here so I can connect into my my other wire. That's going to be where my crossover gets mounted, which is here. One line goes to the woofer, one line gets fed through here, and up to the tweeter and the dash. So, for now, I need to make a hole in here. be good enough to run my wire through.
These speakers come with a crossover. The crossover separates the lows from the highs and the lows to the woofer and the highs to the tweeter. There's a good spot to mount it right here. I just have to cut this um, foam away and put a piece of double face tape there. I'll connect my wire to my input. The brown orange is the positive on this side. This will be my ground. So I'll connect the red to the brown orange. Then I'll run my woofer line down to my woofer here and my tweeter through here, through this chase up into the tweeter here into the factory location. To run the wires, I have to get back here and into this chase. To get to this chase and to get up here to my factory tweeter position, I have to pull this cover off, this panel off, and this trim off. So that's what we're going to do now. And that will get me up through here and into here and over to there. All right, these should pop right off. Pops off and pulls up. And the panel tools will take the speaker cover off. And the tweeters mounted down in here. Okay, panel's off, tweeter's down here. I'm not exactly sure how to get to that tweeter, but I know there's a couple of Torx bits holding this panel on, and the tweeter's mounted to this panel. So I'm gonna take these Torx bits loose to lift it up so I can get to the underneath of this. Well, that wasn't very tight. So probably good I got in here so I can tighten it up when I put it back together. Be careful you don't drop the screw and you might never find it again. Who knows? Using our panel tool again to remove this. Pour the defroster. Be careful with all of this because it is plastic. We all know plastic on older vans tends to break. Okay, so I'm underneath here. Yep. Okay, you have to unplug this right here. And these little clips, there's three of them. One here, one back over here, and one on the back side. And the tweeter should come right down and out. Once you disconnect this tweeter, you're not going to need this. So you just need to tuck it somewhere out of the way so that it doesn't rattle or make noise or whatever but we're not going to use this wire we're going to run our own wire through this hole and all the way down and out to the door where the crossover was down through here through this boot and out to here where we're mounting our crossover i started trying to use a coat hanger to fish this through but it turns and goes and goes up to the dash a little bit but i realized by sticking my hand under the dash I can actually get to this point where the boot is with my wire. So I can pull this part through here and tuck it up to the dash. And I think I can do this without a fish tape or a coat hanger. And there's my wire.
Oh, I think I dropped it. So I have to start over. <laughs> I actually cut the other wire a little shorter, so I'm doing it again with a little bit longer wire. Reaching up through the existing factory holes under the dash. My hands are pretty big, so if I can get up here, most people can. And there's my speaker wire, which I'll splice onto my tweeter. Then all I have to do is run this wire through the boot. There's the boot through there. Now this will be a little trickier. It's got to come through this grommet into this panel and pop this hole. Look who's there, it's Juan Carlos. This is our friend. He's coming to check the van out and help. Hey. Look, she put, this is our friend Juan showing up to help. He ain't showing up to help? What the hell are you about? No, 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 I'm not helping. <laughs> He's exercising today. He's enjoying the beautiful Florida sunshine. Yeah, nice Saturday. While I'm fighting with this. Okay, and then you, you click it then back you click again. click it back in place. After fighting trying to get this boot back on the grommet, I realized by sticking my hand under the dash, I could just take the grommet off, put it on the boot, and then it'll pop right back in place. So if you're fighting with the grommet, just pop the boot out or pop the grommet out to fit it on the boot. When you order these speakers, they come with a surface mount adapter and then this little ring adapter, which the speaker, the tweeter pushes into. It should fit into the factory location once you snap this together. It's a pretty tight compression fit so it's kind of hard, you just got to work it a little bit. And there we go. Snapped into place and ready to go into dash, hopefully. All right, now we're just going to splice these wires together. This would be my positive wire. So. I need to strip this wire back, the wire that I just ran. I got that stripped back. Give it a little tug, make sure it's connected tight. Okay, we have our crossover. We decided earlier we had room behind the door panel to mount the crossover here, but this area is not flat. So it mounts with double face tape. So I'm actually gonna mount it vertically right here in that spot. But before I can do that, I need to cut away my foam a little bit. So I'm gonna take a marker and kind of mark out a general area where this goes. So I know where I can cut. Doesn't have to be too exact. I'll take my razor knife. Cut that away. And earlier we determined we didn't know what this was, but I think we figured out that it's a sensor for the side curtain airbag up on the A pillar. So let's see if we have enough cutaways so that this will flush mount. And it does. So now I'll apply my double face tape. Here. Undo my speaker wires. Coming out of my crossover. And 
think I want it this way. Not really sure why, it just feels right. And there's the crossover mounted. That's not going anywhere. Here's the wire coming from our original, from the radio. The orange would be the positive. The brown orange will be the positive. The brown blue should be the negative. We got the crossover mounted. We've got the connections made. The blue wire here goes to the positive on the tweeter on the dash connect to the red wire coming from the crossover. The brown orange is the positive coming from the stereo, connected to the positive on the input to the crossover. And we put spade terminals on the woofer coming from the crossover. Now we're going to, oh, I cut this off to get a little easier access because it doesn't really matter. It's just a spacer. Going to put, oh, I added a kill mat to a couple strategic locations on the door. There's already said sound deadening on the back side from the factory. But I wanted to put some around the speaker in a couple key places. Figured it wouldn't hurt. We had a little extra left over. So why not? going to mount this old speaker where I cut the speaker out and just leave the trim ring then I'm going to screw the new speaker to the trim ring of the old speaker which will give me the proper spacing and connection points I've seen that done on a YouTube video I hope it works here it's very hard to see but there is a little positive right there and a little negative right there it's actually easier to see on the other speaker. It's nowhere in the label. We looked for a little while in the instructions that came with it, but we did determine that that's a plus sign for the positive, which is the red. This is attached in the factory mounting positions. Connected that. That's gonna go right in here, and I'm gonna screw right into this. Now, if you're using a power drill, be very careful you don't slip and go through your speaker. That would be tragic. All right, just to make things a little neater, I'm gonna get these wires up out of the way. I'm gonna tie wrap them right here. Like I said, I checked the back of the door panel. Seems to be plenty of space right here. So nothing should be in the way. That's not too tight, that's still loose. Just got everything out of the way. Might as well tie wrap this to there, get it out of the way. Let's try to make things a little neater back here so we don't get any rattling. Normally I'd cut that off, but it's hidden behind the door, so it doesn't really matter. So we've got our tweeter in, our dash, got our woofer in here, and our crossover. All our connections are made. We just need to put our door panel back on and reassemble our dash and do the other side. And that's how you do the speaker. So this is our speakers. We'll put a link for that below in the description. Our panel tools, which are invaluable, inexpensive, but a very valuable tool. We'll put a link for that below in the description, as well as the kill mats, which we used, and the roller we used, the spray adhesive that we used for the installation of the door panel, and what else did we use? We use the cable tools. Oh, and the wire strippers. We'll put a link to these below as well. These are super easy to use. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, subscribe, and comment if you see something.